Okay, welcome back to another tutorial in the Viacom tutorial series. Uh, what we're looking at today is, I'd even call it debugging, but it's probably just a um, quality of life um, thing that I use a, a lot while I'm testing Viacom and when I'm developing it. I find that when you're sitting in VR in the cockpit trying to work out what's going on, you can't see the uh, Viacom UI. So if we have a look at... We've got our voice attack UI and our Viacom UI. Now, you can't see this when you've got your VR goggles on and it makes it really difficult to understand what's happening. Um, A, you can't see what's going on with Viacom connecting and you can't see what your recognition is in voice attack. So I use a really cool program called Open Kneeboard um, and I use it generally when I fly just as a kneeboard uh, with all the information on it and the things I need when I'm flying multiplayer. But the little thing it does that a lot of people aren't aware of is I can project a window onto there so I can bring either the voice attack or the Viacom window and have that as a page in my kneeboard. And then it is actually live and I can see exactly what's going on. So I'll show you how to set that up. Um, so if you haven't played around with Open Kneeboard, um, the first place to go is uh, here. So Fred Emmott, who, I mean, it's an awesome piece of software and it's free and you can download it from his GitHub site, which is the link is below. And you can jump in, always go to your releases and download the latest release here, so version 1.10.12, and grab the MSI installer, install it, and this is without a doubt some of the most bulletproof software there is. It, it works really well, updates itself, it's, it's very cool. Anyway, not hard, just download it, run the installer, it will install, and what you end up with is this. Uh, a UI for open kneeboard and it will have this when you first see it which is uh, basically a guide on how to work it and you can click through the pages up here and read what you need to read now I've already added a tab in here which is the Viacom manual so if I click through a page, um, goes in. And one thing that is very cool with Open Kneeboard is hyperlinking works. So in VR, I use a tablet with a, uh, with a pen on my kneeboard. And I can just tap one of these here and it will work. So if, for instance, if I tap this uh, while I'm sitting in VR and go keyboard training mode, it'll hyperlink and jump straight there. Now it is a very cool program. So anyway, so that's pretty cool. The fact that it's good for documents, so awesome for flying with. But what is even cooler when you really need it to help you out with understanding what's working and what's not working with voice attack or how Viacom's connecting, uh, you can add these as pages in your kneeboard. And it's really simple to do. You just come down to the settings tab here, go to tabs, add a tab, and then we're going to say window capture. And in this case, it'll pop up whatever is open. So you need them open. If they're not open, they won't appear here. And once they're open, you can go, well, I want to add voice attack in, capture this window. It's added a tab. And let's add Viacom window capture and Viacom for DCS World Community Edition. So what it's printing here is basically the top of these windows. So there it is, Viacom for DCS World Community Edition. So I'll select that, capture this window. So I've got Voice Attack and Viacom as two separate tabs in my kneeboard. Once that's done, uh, we can jump back in and there's our PDF. But now if I click this, I now have the window. And as you can see, it's live. It's replicating 
what the actual window is doing. So it's perfect for troubleshooting. So that's awesome. And then of course you've got your tab. Now the only thing you don't have control here is clicking on the tabs, but it's not what I use it for. Um, you have to come over here and click on the actual tabs to search through it. But it's to watch what's happening here, whether the module's detecting, whether the radio frequencies are tuning, those sort of things. So quite often I'll have this up while I'm debugging and troubleshooting, just on my open kneeboard in VR. So awesome thing. So let's jump in the cockpit and have a look at what it looks like and how it works. Okay, now we're in the jet, we can actually see what it looks like. Uh, so we're flying along here at 20,000 feet and I have my kneeboard in VR. So there's the Viacom manual and if you're running with a tablet and a pen you can draw on that if you want and you can write on any page and I can actually use the pen to navigate the different pages and tabs so if we tab up one you can see I have the Viacom UI that we added and it's live so I can if I key a mic we can see exactly what's happening so let's tune something like Creech Select it was already on Creech but uh, let's try Nellis Select Nellis Select and there we go all this control tunes. Um, so that makes a huge difference being able to see what's going on. But if I tap up one more um, and have a look at the voice attack window, when you're having recognition problems, it makes it a lot easier to stay in VR and see what's happening here because it's live also. So if we do something like um, select a creature, so it said that the select bridge so it, it unrecognized so we know that's a recognition error select a creech select breach but let's try this one creech select once I give it the right command it's something it recognizes which is creech select so it's tuned it and if we flip back to our Vacom UI it's back on Creech. Uh, so that's how I use it. It's uh, super cool. And um, thanks for watching.